Well, for the past 40 years, literary arts has connected its community through the power of the written word. And as the organization celebrates its 40th anniversary season, we're looking to this weekend in the widely celebrated Portland Book Festival. Yeah, the festival featuring guest artists, writing workshops, and so much more, all in the heart of Portland's South Park Box. So joining us in studio this morning is Senior Artistic Director Amanda Bullock to talk more about this page-turning event. Good morning. Good morning. Great to see you. Thanks for coming back to the couch here this morning. Anytime. Well, okay, the Portland Book Festival, it's a perfect time of year, too. you got the weather. It's mm -hmm. kind of that cozy reading season. Definitely. But for those that have not been, what exactly is the Portland Book Festival? Yeah, it's a one-day celebration of books and storytelling for all ages. We have events for everything from picture books on up through... I joke that dad books is the opposite of that. <laughs> I'm, I'm a dad. I love dad books. <laughs> um, like we have Lee Child, or Andrew Child coming, sorry, who writes the Jack Reacher series. That feels okay. like the opposite of picture books. Wonderful. Um, so yeah, a little something for everybody. There'll be food carts. There's readings in the art museum galleries. There's writing workshops. It's a really wonderful day. So it's indoor, outdoor, just looking ahead to whatever the potential weather could be. Yes, it's mostly inside. Okay. So, Good no news. Excuses. No, <laughs> yeah. no excuses. No excuses. So. What's the best way for people to go out and make the most of the day? What do you want to share with maybe people, people who've never been before? That's a great question. We, I like to say that like you should pick out one or two things you definitely want to go to, maybe more. But one of the great things about the festival is we have over 100 writers there. Wow. And most of the time, you're going to be able to discover something you didn't know you were looking for. So mm. your pass gets you into all but two of the events. Those have extra tickets. but So you can just like pop in. Maybe you're interested in the subject of a talk, mm -hmm. but you don't know the writers. So just give it a go. There's like low risk. And yeah, you totally. might find your like new favorite book. What? Very low risk, high reward. Yeah, very high Definitely. reward too. Yeah. What's it like when you know people have the chance to talk to these writers that maybe they do know or maybe they don't know? You know, you, mm -hmm. that that experience of kind of yes, I've read your work, but now I get to meet the author. You know, you're kind of breaking the fourth wall almost a little bit. What's that experience like? It's really wonderful. I mean, for writers, I think it's always nice to hear. Like, I get nervous talking to writers, even though it's my job still. But <laughs> it's really nice for someone to just hear, like, I love your work. Like, it's meaningful to me. You know, mm -hmm. and so. Yeah. Um, it's really great to be able to see people kind of meet their favorite writers and also, like I said, discover new things. And then the writers meeting each other, too, because they oh, yeah. like uh, admire each other. And so right. they'll kind of fan out about each other also. So it's That's just fun. the density and like the variety of people that are part of the event are really the magic. And that includes the attendees and everybody. Cool. They say never meet your heroes, but it sounds like this event throws that <laughs> adage oh, in yeah. the garbage. Because... Meet, your writer, meet your writer heroes. Meet like... your writing heroes. That's mm -hmm. great. So how can people learn more or get involved? Yeah, you can go to pdxbookfest.org. The whole schedule's up there. Everybody who's coming, you can get your passes. We have Friday night is Reader's Night, where mm -hmm. the book fair is open. We have in the Portland Art Museum Grand Ballroom and the Lower Ballroom. There's, I think, over 80, 70 to 80 exhibitors, like local presses, all wow. kinds of different things. Um, so you can start your weekend on Friday. We also have cover to cover going all week long. So you can start your festival today. That's great. Actually. Yeah. 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 So and when we were talking a little bit about the uh, pieces that are outside, that's, you know, food carts and stuff mm -hmm. are out there. So you can, you know, grab a, grab a bite and then, you know, peruse the festival in, in any way you'd like to. Amanda, it's always great to talk to you. Thanks so you much. You too. Thanks so yeah. much for having me. Have fun. And again, the Portland Book Festival, Saturday, November 2nd. But some celebrations are already underway. Tickets still on sale. And you can find them on their website. Again, that's pdxbookfest.org.